Welcome to Saving the Cabin. I'm Candace, and today, I, I swear, I listened, I got the messages. I did a quick walkthrough of North Georgia Homestead Supply um, yesterday and released it as a short and a reel on the different platforms. And I had so many people complain that one, I was moving too fast. They wanted to see what was on the shelves, but also they wanted more detail of some of the products. Um, so I did get your emails, I did get your messages. So I'm back today to give you a more detailed walkthrough. So let's head inside. All right, so here's the store. We got organic feeds, that way you know when you're eating your eggs or your chickens or your cows, whatever you're eating, you know that they're eating the right stuff. So, you know, it trickles downhill and you get to eat good stuff too. We have garden supplies. And this is actually what I came in here for yesterday. I wanted the birdhouse gourds. And then they also have loofahs. I cannot find these seeds anywhere except for here. And this is all certified organic seeds. So, you know, it's the good stuff. No GMO issues. Raised bed planters. They give you an idea of how big they are which is handy because when it comes in this little box, you never know. And I'll just kind of point and go. So here's mason jars that you need of all sorts of different sizes, all sorts of different lids for whether you're fermenting or uh, canning. That way you can have the right gas release, that type of thing, um, because there actually are special caps that help with fermentation. These are kind of neat. They're laundry nuts or soap nuts, depending on who you're talking to. Um, it's a natural form of soap to be able to wash laundry. Mm -hmm. All right, anyone know what this thing is? Bonus question. I'll put it in the comments below. So this is my favorite aisle right here. This is what I mainly come here to buy. Basically you have your different types of sourdough starters, Greek yogurt, regular yogurt, cheese. There's books on beer brewing and um, here you can see one of the fermentation jars with the special lid. And down here is the proofing baskets that I bought for my sourdough making. Beeswax wraps. If you have not tried these for saving your food, they are awesome. I actually came over here to this side. Right here is a full roll of the beeswax wrap. Um, 52 inches it says. And I've been cutting pieces off of it for various things like saving cookies and bread. Um, I made bagels yesterday. And they have reusable sandwich bags, things for making teas. And if you didn't know, these are some of the coolest things you can buy when you have natural peanut butter. It's a stir for it. That way you don't have to get, you know, all gooey and yucky trying to mix it up. You put the stir in and then as it's coming out of the lid, it cleans off the stick and it just makes it so much easier to mix your peanut butter. Ooh. And I just saw a coffee that looks delicious. It's a dried cherry hazelnut caramel. Mm. And yes, I do drink decaf during the day sometimes. We just don't tell Jeremy. More of the beeswax wraps and things for cooking in the kitchen and making pies, composters. I did buy some of these yesterday too. Uh, they're a plant-based dishcloth for doing your dishes. That way when you have to throw your sponge away, you don't feel so bad about it. More proofing baskets of different shapes. These are next on my list for when I start being able to cook in the cabin. I want them because I want to make sandwich loaves. I cannot do that in the current oven I have, but soon, soon I will be in the cabin. And a whole variety of organic spices and syrups. And 
Then over here we have stuff from being ready for the mud. But this is some of the cool stuff that I think my daughter would love. This is kind of the craft section is the way I look at it. There's everything from games that you can make um, and a jaw harp. I mean, have you guys ever seen these? I've seen lots of videos of people playing them. I think they're really cool. My son would love the train horn, hence why we will not get that due to the sound. But there's just lots of neat things here. Looms, making boats. And not only do they have classes here where, like I'm about to be doing the sourdough making class, but they have books on all the different subjects even the stuffed animals for kids, how to make them, beer brewing, you name it. Ooh, cider, that might be on my list soon. I'm gonna be doing a chicken class here too. And natural soaps and candles. And if you guys haven't heard of this before, the elderberry tonic, Jeremy and I take it every single day. I have not tried the fire tonic yet, just because I'm not a big fan of apple cider vinegar, but the elderberry tonic with the honey, it's yummy, it's easy to take, and it just keeps your immune system up. So there's lots of different options for that. And there's even little touches that I'm gonna be looking for for the cabin. So this soap dish, I think would be really, really cute, and it's perfect color and everything to go in the cabin. Once I have a kitchen sink. They do have a variety of gift baskets around here if you need a simple gift to be able to pick up that you don't have to think through. Things for your gardeners. And sourdough and biscuit making. And just about everyone I know needs jars. You save everything, you want it to look pretty, jars are the way to go. So there's plenty to choose from here too. And this is the tea. This is my favorite tea that they have here. It has this hot and spicy aftertaste, but sweet almost when it goes down. Very yummy. But they have lots of different teas. And then up here, these are all the different things that you can cook with. Um, things like cream of tartar and apple pie spice. And this is what I picked up yesterday too. It's a vegetable blend for your stew. I'm going to be adding that to a vegetable soup mix that I already have that doesn't have enough veggies. But it's one of my uh, pantry go-tos. So when I run out of regular food, this is what I go to. And then over here, they do have a whole sporting goods section. So for the people that wanted to see a whole lot more detail of the store, I hope this kind of clues you in to some of the things that they have. No, they do not ship. You can buy online and pick up in store, but they do not ship out of the store. So if you're ever in Marble Hill, Georgia, definitely come and check out the store. Yeah.